I also had some news to talk to you guys about that uh, some of you are probably going to hate and be bummed about and some of you are going to be happy for me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my very echoey channel at the moment. I put a poll on Instagram and I put the new Bite Foundation and the new CoverGirl Foundation and I asked you guys which one you wanted to see and it was very, very close, but I think it was CoverGirl won by like 10% or like 12% or something like that. So we're going to be doing a review on the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Vegan Foundation today. Where is it? I got this PR kit right here. This is not a sponsored video, but I did receive these in the mail. And I also had some news to talk to you guys about. Some of you are probably going to hate and be bummed about, and some of you are going to be happy for me. So just keep it kind. Just know that it's my body and my life, and you don't have to look at it if you don't want to. <laughs> so this foundation is $9.99. It's vegan and cruelty free. I love that CoverGirl is cruelty free now. It is the first like mass market brand to become cruelty free. Like we're still waiting on Revlon and L'Oreal, Maybelline, all those brands test on animals. So it's really, really great that CoverGirl is leading with such an awesome example. Let's see, we've got cream blush. These are the shades, the blush shades. You can actually use these on your eyes as well. Blush is $8.99 and the lip oils are also $8.99. These are tinted lip oils. It says they're packed with shine and long lasting moisture. Sure. This one um, over here is just clear, but these are some of the shades that you can get in the lip oil. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? Here's your opportunity, unless you're watching on your phone, stay on the video. But if you're watching your computer, pick up your phone, follow me on Instagram. I have three Instagrams because I'm a psycho. I have an animal Instagram and a Finsta where I put like all of my ugly pictures and my pets and food and crap like that. These are the Clean Fresh Cooling Glow Stick. So these are the shades here. It says, get your glow on with CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cooling Glow Stick. Shimmer highlighter instantly cools skin and leaves it looking positive positively radiant. You can put this on your cheeks, eyelids, anywhere you want an extra glow. So on your shoulders, etc. Um, and this is $8.99 as well. These are limited edition and so are the cream blushes and then the foundation and the lip oil. It doesn't say anything about limited edition. So if those are something you want to try out, you're going to want to grab those now. I have a fresh face. I just washed it a little bit ago and I have not put on any moisturizer or primer or anything. I'm just going to leave my skin as is. Okay, I'm gonna go with Fair Light. This foundation, so there are 14 shades here. It says that this is buildable and sheer and it lasts all day, giving you like a dewy finish. It kind of looks like a little creamy. It's like moving down. You can see it's like liquidy. And I'm just interested to see how this wears because a dewy foundation just typically doesn't last very long on my skin. Where did this come from? Because it seriously needs to go back where it came from. It's like as hard as a freaking rock. Listen to this hit my light could knock somebody out, holy crap. So I did um, use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette the other day for a look to put on Instagram. And I am afraid, I mean, my lashes are like hanging on for dear life right now. I have eyelash extensions, but it's so close to my lash line, the pink right there that I'm afraid to remove it because I don't want any more of these to fall out. We're just gonna have some pink eyeshadow there, I guess. Okay, so I have a damp beauty blender. I'm really nervous about this dewy foundation situation. Is it even on there? What in the what, what, where is it? Where is it? Uh, is it just me or like, can you not see that on my skin at all? It feels like a, like a tinted moisturizer. This also smells like almond milk. That's weird. I'm a little confused right now. It feels like I just put tinted moisturizer all over my face. This is weird. Does it say to apply this with a brush or a sponge or does it not? Blurs and perfections, evens out skin tone, sheer buildable coverage. Okay, so it doesn't suggest. Maybe I'm gonna try a brush really quick. So I'm gonna use this foundation brush and just see what happens on this side. Oh my gosh, it's not almond milk, it's coconut because there's coconut in this. I hadn't gotten to that point yet, but it's infused with coconut and aloe to soothe your skin. Legit smells like coconut, wow. Okay, that did cover a little bit. It covered some of the veins around my eyes there. It is just a very, very sheer coverage. It feels really good on the skin. It feels super moisturizing. 
This is so sheer that like, I don't know if it's even like there's, like if you were just putting, I, for me personally, like what I've just done, like I would just rather wear no makeup than have product on my face and have such a li such little coverage. I'm gonna go back to the beauty blender and see if I can build this up a little bit more. It's definitely gonna be dewy, but I just can't imagine this lasting all day. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> okay, honestly, grow up, Kristen. All right, I am gonna go in for a third layer. I have it on my hand here. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Right there, that little chunk, there's some of those, and I thought it was my palette, but it's on here now too. And they're just like, almost like little chunkies. Like I don't, it almost feels like um, latex. Like when that starts to peel off your skin, if you've ever felt that. Like, can you see the little chunkies in there? I don't know if it's pieces of like the coconut or what. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a third layer here and I'm really trying to not spread this around because I want a little bit more coverage. I have these like little freckles up here on my forehead. Let's see if we can cover those up a little bit. How come when people put faux freckles on, they don't really ever put them on their forehead? Is that like just, they're only like cute right there or something or? <laughs> That is so natural. I almost feel weird putting any other makeup on because it's like, I feel like I'm just wearing a tinted moisturizer. I mean, I see what they're saying. It is slightly buildable. I do, ha I should say slightly buildable maybe because I have three layers on and this for me isn't really enough coverage. Although it does feel very hydrating. It is very, very sheer. But let's see how this goes, how makeup applies on it. Because it is so light, I don't know how. I'm a little nervous about applying blush and their glow stick on top of this. I'm gonna do my best to not add a ton of this, but I do, yeah, I definitely need a bit of coverage in here. And It almost looks weird because it's like way more full coverage than the foundation. It's like I have BB creams that cover more than this. If there's an SPF in this, that would be legit. I would, I could wear this to the gym like a BB cream. But if you like a really light coverage, this might work for you. But let's continue to see how makeup applies over it and see how we do. So I'm gonna use Butterflies for the blush and I'm gonna squeeze this out on my palette. That dries so fast. Holy heck, I didn't even really have time to like blend this out. It's drying so fast. It is removing the foundation a little bit. Yeah, there's a learning curve with this. I don't hate it, but uh, I definitely need to learn how to use that a little better. <laughs> okay, there's a, there's, a, there's a glow stick called Transparent. What? I gotta open that up. I'm very curious how you have a glow stick that's transparent. This one is... Opal Dreams. Ooh, this is really pretty. I need to see the transparent one. Like, is it just like kind of glossy? Like what, what is under this cap? I must know. Okay, so that was it right there. It's almost like it feels like a chapstick kind of. Ooh, it feels so good. It is very cooling. It's interesting. I think this is gonna be like professional makeup artist best friend. Like that looks and feels really nice. Like, I don't know, it's, it dried down on my hand super quickly and now it just feels really soft. So I don't really know what the point of that one is, but I thought it was gonna give you like a nice little sheen, like kind of like this little natural look right there, like to enhance that. But okay, I'm gonna take this on my finger and apply this. I like this. And I think I'm not really gonna put any on my forehead and stuff. I probably shouldn't have put it on my nose either. Cause I just wanna see like what kind of do dewiness is like coming from the foundation as we wear it throughout the day. It might be kind of interesting to contour with one of these. So I'm gonna contour with the shade tan and see how this goes. Okay, all right. Ooh, okay, that was a pretty good idea. Okay, that looks good. I like that. All right, so we have all the products on here that came in this PR kit. So far, I think the highlight is really pretty. I do like this. Let's do the transparent one on my brow bone because I just need to see what this is all about. I just, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the point of that is. It did nothing to my brow bone. 
This one on the other hand is gorgeous. So I'm gonna put this on my brow bone. I like these, I think these are really pretty. I like how tiny they are and they're really lightweight, good for traveling. This is good for a really light makeup look. So even for the gym, I think this is kind of cute to like make it look like you're like a little sweatier than normal. Okay, so. I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back and we will do a little eyeshadow look and we'll kind of do final thoughts on this. And during the eyeshadow look, I'll talk to you guys about the surgery that I'm going to do. So I just used a new Tarte product. Um, I use the Tarte Sketch and Set. And if you've been watching my videos recently, you know that I've been using the Urban Decay Brow Blade for my brows and I feel totally lost without it right now because all of them that I have are in San Diego and the only one that I have here is not my shade. I'm gonna go ahead and do some uh, eyeshadow with the Morphe Manny MUA Glam Palette. I was gonna do a little bit of a smoky eye, but I'm a little worried like this is such a natural foundation look that I don't know. I'm gonna do it anyway. We'll talk about my surgery, which I, I have to say, I'm a little bit nervous to talk to you guys about. I know you guys are very understanding and you have the right to your opinion, but I, what I do to my body and for me is only for me and not for anyone else. So at the end of the day, I don't really care, but it is one of those things that's a little scary to share. I am getting my boobs done at the end of the month. I just like went, I just I just went right into it. I didn't even like, there was no segue. It was just bam, here it is. Okay, so there it is. I'm getting my boobs done at the end of the month. And I've been wanting to get, I've actually wanted to get my boobs done since I was like young, like 16, I would just be wishing that I had boobs. I decided, you know, against it in my late twenties, just cause I, I just wanted to live my life and see how I felt before I jumped into something like that. And thankfully when I was 21 and 20, I didn't have the money to get my boobs done or I might have done that. Truth be told, um, my ex-husband Ryan really likes flat chests. Like I'm barely a B, like I'm basically an A. He's like, you could even be a little bit flatter. I'm like, if I was flatter, I'd be concave. Like, let's be real here. Like if I had less boobs than I have now, I would legit be concave. So I don't understand that, but sure. And that's not why I didn't get them, but it was just always, there was always something else to spend money on, something to save for. When I turned 30, I decided, I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and get my boobs done because there are so many dresses that I've purchased. I hate trying stuff on in the store. So I typically will just take it home and like try it on and then I'll return it. And like bralettes and dresses and get home. A lot of the dresses I just can't fill out. And so moved into my thirties, my hips got a little bit wider. Like they say childbearing hips. I don't really know what happened, but my hips got a little bit wider. And um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with Leo right here. It's like Leonidas. Where is that dog anyway? So I started to feel a little bit masculine in bathing suits. I'd like to be like a small C so I can still not wear bras and things like that without looking a little too, you know, out there. And so I recently decided that, well, not recently, about a year and a half ago that I was gonna move forward with getting um, a breast augmentation. And so I've been searching for a doctor that I wanted to work with and I just found one in La Jolla and I had a consultation and I really liked him and, and actually, um, Nick knows like, Nick, one of Nick's coworkers knows like 10 people who have had their, who have had breast augmentations by him and they all recommend him. So I was like, that's a good sign if that many people have gone to him and are happy with the results to keep talking about it, you know, to this day. Um, this is a really pretty shade and this is like a really nice neutral palette, but you can also bump it up for the evening, like with some of these like darker shades and this bright Gamenta color. This is pretty. So I am also going to get my ears sewn up. Um, you may have noticed that I've got a little bit of a butthole ear going on. And that's because I used to have my ears stretched to like almost, an, I think an inch. If you've gone through the process of going in and having a consultation, you might have done this too, but they have you try on, like you put a bra on and like you try on the different sizes and stuff and they have you put a shirt on. And honestly, I just find it so hard to judge off of that because it's like, they're gonna look smaller when they're in there because they're going under the muscle. And uh, for me, that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna do the gummy bear ones. I find it hard to like see with a shirt on how it's like actually going to look because you need to see it hanging off your body. Like I think I'm gonna try and Photoshop some different sizes 
oversized boobs on my chest and just see how I feel about them. I am aware that there are risks. There are risks with any surgery. I've done my research. Hopefully that doesn't happen with me, but if it does, then I will have to have them removed and it will be a big pain in the ass and there you know, could be some health issues along the way. So I also might have a little bit of this sucked out of here. I'm not for sure on that yet, but double chins are just genetic and they run in my family. Thank you, mom. So no matter how much weight I lose or how in shape I am, I always have this and it's always been something that's made me, um, I've been uncomfortable about. So I was just thinking, I'm like, well, if I'm gonna be under anyway, I might as well just get that done too. But I, I'm, I'm not settled on it for sure. I was thinking I might do a video about the whole process and just so like I can bring you guys into my world a little bit. And if it's something that you're thinking about doing or you're just curious about my journey, I thought it might be kind of fun to do like a video about it, kind of like before and after pictures. And then, yeah, I if you guys wanna see that, let me know a comment below. I am really excited. I'm more excited than I am nervous. I'm gonna get it done like in the beginning of March, the first week of March. So I'm actually pretty excited to do it. Um, I'm going to Bali and Sri Lanka this year. So I think it'll be really fun to kind of wear some new bathing suits and whatever. So whether you're for it or not, um, hopefully you can be respectful of my decision and just be, you know, supportive. This, these shades are really pretty. Congrats to Manny on this. I also have a discount code for Morphe. That you can use in store and online if you ever want to use or try any of their products or buy new products. Okay, I'm gonna put some mascara on the bottom and just finish up this eye look. I just, a lot of this is my brows right now bugging me and how pale I am and stuff, but um, I just don't like this look in general. I, it's such a light foundation. Like the coverage is just not quite there for me. It does feel very moisturizing. I do like that. I just wish there was a bit more coverage in it. It's like very, very, very sheer. Um, I think it would be cool, cool for the gym, but like I said, I have BB creams that have more coverage than this. But um, I'm gonna leave this on for the whole day and I was gonna film other videos today, but I just don't like this in general, so. I'm not. So I'm gonna check back in with you guys probably around seven hours and see how it looks. All right, y'all, it's been an hour and 16 minutes and counting. Um, I'm back so soon because I just can't do life with this makeup today. Um, I pretty much don't like my brows and my fat, this foundation looks god awful on me. It's a bit too pale, even though it looked the right color in here, like going out in real life, it's like much too pale for me and I look like I died two hours ago. I don't like it at all. It's like not enough coverage, but still looks a little bit cakey. Could just be my skin. I'm not really sure, but I look like a corpse and I was like, Mark, I was Marcoing my mom, a Marco Polo app. And she was like, yeah, she's like super outspoken like I am. And she's like, yeah, so the makeup is, it doesn't look good. And I was like, no, it doesn't. I hate all of it. Like it's not good. Final thoughts on this foundation are, I, I, it's not for me. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Again, don't forget to leave your questions about my breast augmentation surgery in the comments below. I don't like this lipstick color with the shades in my hair. Like that's bothering me too. It's like a beautiful shade, but not with these colors. So yeah, nothing's working. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.